Testing one, two, testing one, two, testing one, two, testing one, two, testing one, two. Hello, wrestling fans. Earl Cannonberry here with you from uh, good old Birmingham, Alabama. And it's great to be with you tonight as we're getting ready for a great edition of uh, Mayhem and Madness. And I'll tell you what, this should be throwing tonight. We'll find out momentarily. So uh, let's get this ball game going, shall we? Or I should say, let's get this wrestling card going. Let me check out something here real quick. I am so sorry, guys. And using a headset right now. As of right now, because of, uh, basic, yeah. So, uh, let me know if you can hear me. But first of all, we're going to start off with Rage Tonic. As, uh, we're going to get this going here. And, uh, we thank you for joining us here tonight. And, just to let you know. We, we were sorry that we were off for a week because of uh, technical difficulties. And wasn't too good, I'll tell you that much right now. And, you know, I didn't feel really good about that. So, let's get this going here, shall we? Let's get... And it looks like uh, instead of uh, six our opening show tonight, Rage Tonic is here for a reason. So, uh, we'll find out here. Why is he doing here? Big question. Like I said, once again, if you can hear me and you're watching, let me know. If not, then uh, please respond to me in the forums. I would greatly appreciate it. <sighs> Hello, Dust Killer. How you doing, sir? Can you hear me? Let me know if you can hear me. Okay, cool. All right, that sounds good. Thank God. All right. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Greatly appreciate it. Okay, my confidence has been shot up tenfold here, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe I may be shot up a hundredfold now since I know that our new equipment works here. Oh, look at that. Oh. And it looks like Rage Tide get into the summer wardrobe here, ladies and gentlemen. Great to see the owner. We, You know what? I haven't seen him here in a while. We'll see what he's got to talk about. <laughs> uh, hey, what's going on, fans? So great to see you. I know I've been out for a while, and I apologize. But you know what? A businessman has always got business to do, and I'll tell you what right now. I, sorry we've been out for a week because our technical equipment wasn't going too well. Damn you, Connect. But, uh, you know what? It's been an interesting week. While the equipment was out, I thought it was going to be peaceful, but... I heard ramblings along the locker room. I heard some ramblings that it's not too good because I guess I heard rumors that people don't want to work with other people. I heard people are getting tired of being shafted away from the spotlight. I heard all kinds of stuff going on here. You know what? I was thinking of two words I thought I would never say in my life. But here I go. I'm going to say them right now, man. Brand extension. I'm thinking of brand extension, man. I'm thinking about having two different brands. I'll tell you what, I mean, just to so everybody here, I mean, I realize I have a humongous roster. And I'll tell you what, I'm thinking about giving each of these brands their own seven match show each week if I do this. Now, I'm not going to do a draft or anything. It's going to be Go where the hell you want to go, man. Wherever you want to go, wherever you want to be, where you feel you're going to get the most out of that stuff like that. I'll tell you that much right now. And I'll tell you what, uh, 
I cannot believe I'm saying that, man. So it's going to be kind of like, uh, what it's going to be like up in Stanford? Good God. I thought I would never see that, man. I mean, this is going to be interesting to see if this would happen and see what the rosters would be. Oh, gosh, man. I mean, uh, don't worry. I would still have the cross-promotion rule if I would do that. I would still have regular cross-promotional matches. I would maybe have a big uh, event at the end of each month. Maybe the last Friday, last Sunday. Who knows, man? I'll tell you that much right now, but that's how it's going to go, man. Maybe that might be a possibility. I'll let you know as the updates go by. Whoa, what the heck did we just hear there? Brand extension? Are you freaking kidding me? Brand extension? We might be going that route? Oh, good God, man. I wonder who's the ram one rambling around about it. I mean, there's got to be some stuff going on. I heard all kinds of stuff going on in the back. But you know what? Oh, gosh. Let me get a drink of my coffee here because I will be, uh, I'll be here for the all-night jam here. And so we got 15 big matches. And we're going to start off first with a newcomer, Jericho Windham, as he's going to be going against Rob Van Dam. And remember, if you like this uh, stuff here, follow us on Twitch under Vampiro0712. Follow us at YouTube under Vampiro712. Follow us at Facebook under MSW Wrestling Group. Must see wrestling group. And also, keep in mind, kids, this is TVMA. If you are under 18, please get your parents' permission to watch this because it's got adult situations and coarse language. And I'll tell you what, right now, this is going to be uh, pretty interesting, folks. I'll tell you that much right now. And, uh, okay. What the heck did you do that for? You dingling. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll tell you what, I, you know what's going to be interesting, because you know what, I didn't have much respect for Malachi Abramoff, but you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to play devil's advocate here. He's been running a pretty good show with Big Time Wrestling, and you know what, he's even gone about, uh, me and him had a talk, and basically, I... Uh, I apologized to him about insulting his vodka, and he accepted my apology. He even gave me a bottle of bourbon. I'll tell you what, that was pretty awesome. He went on and got me a special bottle of bourbon to show there was no hard feelings. Thank you very much, sir. I mean, you know what? Did you get booked? Yeah, yeah, yeah Splash Monk. Splash. Yes, sir. You, Daddy's going to be wrestling Jimmy Coldblood for the, crew, uh, for the light heavyweight title later on tonight. You're going to be on the second segment, sir. That's what they told me in the back. That's what Vampiro712 has told me. So you are booked. Oh, man. So much town and too little time to do it in sometimes. But I guess this is the reason why Rage Tyke may go with brand extension. Question is, I think we might do a better job than what they do in Stanford right now. And here comes Rob Van Dam, minus his, his uh, huge asset girlfriend, what's his, what's her name, uh, what, what, what's her name, oh, Katie Forbes, yes, I guess Katie Forbes decided to sit at home tonight, or maybe I think she might even be in the hotel room where Van Dam is staying. Katie Forbes says rumors that she may show up here one of these days. Yeah, just to let you know tonight, we got an interesting situation, I guess. Ace Angel's contract ran out with Musty Wrestling, and therefore, he is no longer with us right now. So sorry to report that. And, but, so that means the Pot of Gold briefcase is vacant tonight. And that means uh, we will have an eight-man barroom brawl decide who's going to win that Pot of Gold briefcase. But here we go, we got Jericho Wyndham against... Rob Van Dam. 
What a matchup this should be. Young against old, young against the old school. Even though the uh, young one is the ne is the uh, nephew of two famous wrestlers, Mike Rotunda and Barry Windham. And right now Jericho's in a little bit of trouble as uh, I'll tell you what, Rob Van Dam is no pushover. They don't call him Mr. Uh, they, don't, they don't call him the whole effing show for nothing. The whole freaking show for nothing, I'll tell you that. Oh man, and uh, Jericho Wyndham showing a true veteran skills right there as uh, he just dodged out of the way of that. And right now, Jericho Wyndham going to work here on Rob Van Dam. Well, but he, he was busy fixing himself and he gets caught by the veteran RVD. And right now, Oh yeah, I forgot to mention big news. Jay Cole has given birth to uh, a boy this week. Her and Chris Bat are happy parents of Anthony Michael Bat. That's right. That's his name, Anthony Michael Bat. So congratulations to uh, Jay and uh, Chris Bat. And rumors is that Jay may need a month to come back. She may come back within a month. She says she's urging to come back to work and uh, go back. And uh, you know what? She said she was proud of the job that Michelle Marquis was do is doing. No doubt about it. She says she made it real feel really, uh, I'll tell you what, she made it feel really uh, secure that the women's division was in good hands. And right now Van Dam giving Giving jerk, giving the youngster a hard time, the tall drink of water. But oh, look at Jericho window, beautifully done, and oh, old school atomic drop. I, you know what? I noticed throughout the weeks we've seen Jericho Wyndham do quite a few of his Uncle Barry's uh, maneuvers: the superplex, the impaler DDT, the flying lariat. I mean, we've seen that happen there, and Jericho Wyndham now going right after Rob Van Dam here. And right now he's pulling back, folks. Yeah, so the newcomer, Daddy, tonight will begin a shot at the light heavyweight champion, Jimmy Coldblood Jr. That should be an interesting matchup. And uh-oh, Van Dam may have his opponent in trouble, and oh, leg drop. I thought he was going to go for the five-star frog splash. Going for the pin. And right now, I guess uh, Dust Killer is uh, right now online, either on YouTube or uh, I don't know where we're at, but he's right now doing uh, 2K17. Boy, talk about turning the time machine back. And right now, uh oh, Jericho Windham, is he going to be. Uh oh, looks like the Superplex. Oh, no. An ar elevator arm drag. Beautifully done by the youngster. Tell you what, this kid's got some skill. Oh, and there's a Lariat. There is that Larry that I'm talking about. I think the only thing I haven't seen them do of Uncle Barry's is the Bulldog or the Iron Claw. I seen them do the Impaler DET already and the uh, Superplex. And I think he might be setting up for it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh-oh. A lot of people use the Superplex en route to a successful career. One of them was Wyndham, another one, add to the list, Cowboy Bob Orton. Going for the pin. And that's it, wow, Jericho Wyndham getting the win over Rob Van Dam. Are you are you kidding me? That's got to be an impressive victory for that youngster. Incredible. I'll tell you that much right now. And there was that Larry right there. That was the end of, for the uh, end of the show. The show got cancellation tonight. For, t for this time. I don't know. I'm pretty sure Van Dam will be back to fight another day. But uh, you know what? He's a veteran. I mean, you know, it's like uh, he does still give it his all. But this kid right here, he's got some poise. And I'll tell you what. He can be, he can be, a, he can be a wrecking force here in this uh, must-see wrestling if he keeps it up like this. I'll tell you that much right now. The tall Texan, Jericho Wyndham. 
victorious here tonight. Incredible, big win. And let's see here, okay. The night is still young here, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, we're gonna get going here with the next bout. Oh, we got the women's tag team towel coming up here tonight. Mona and Raquel ready to defend against Jerry Missile and Monica Del Rey in a tornado tag match. I'll tell you that much right now, and uh should be very interesting. And uh really uh you know. Of course, uh Jerry Missile and Monica Del Rey managed to get another title shot. Uh, Beating Asia calling Dana Brooke last week. I'll tell you about whatever it is that Tracy Torment's girls on, it's working. And unfortunately, it's irritating the fans. Question is, if we had this brand extension, where the hell would everybody go? There's the question I want to know. And what titles would be on each brand? You come to think about it, man. I mean... If if Rage Tonic does go through with this, this could add all kinds of implication, God-given implications. And I'll tell you what. I mean, wrestling could never be the same again. Whoever thought that... uh. Must see wrestling might go down this route. They could. I mean, that's a problem, but you got when you got a gigantic roster and you don't have enough time for anybody, you they're 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 going to revolt. But you know, I, I'm going to keep quiet about that. I, you know, I, I keep I it's like if I keep beating a dead horse in the tail about it with this rumor. Uh, you know what? I'm going to wind up having an egg in my face if it doesn't turn out to be true. So, let's just be, I'm going to just keep quiet and uh, let's just keep going with the great action going on here tonight, will you? Let's keep going. And coming down the ring right now, we got Jerry Missile and Monica Del Rey. The Fixers Club. Of course, they got a third member of that group known as Melody McMahon. Which, of course, and they're managed by Chaz's ex, Chaz Foreman's ex, Tracy, Tracy Torment. And, of course, those two ladies you see right there in the ring right now. They're, they are ex wives of famous wrestlers. Monica Del Rey is the ex-wife of uh, Adam Strange, and Jerry Missile is the ex-wife of uh, former wrestling's great Joe Kenny. And here comes the two high school friends, Mona and Raquel. There they are, folks, the super fans, as they call themselves, of Sarah Perry. Sarah Perry, who calls herself All That. I heard she's been adding another nickname to her list. Yum, yum, gimme some, I guess. That's what she's been saying. And I'll tell you what, she has... I guess she can stick to that plan because, you know what? She has had the uh, greatest selling piece of merchandise in must-see wrestling history, which will be the poster. And I'll call what is the poster. Of course, good guy, if I ever bought that poster home... And my wife saw it, she would kick my tail severely. So I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to cause trouble. And uh, let's get this tag team championship. And in the corner, we got the challengers Monica Del Rey and Jerry Missile. Monica Del Rey from San Diego, respectively. Jerry Missile from uh, Cleveland, Ohio.
And then, of course, we got the champions, respectively, from Beachwood, Ohio. Mona and Raquel, the superfans. Yeah. This is going to be interesting, folks. I'll tell you what, Mona and Raquel have become the most elite tag team here in this roster. Their, their record in their last 10 matches has been 9-1. Really incredible. They have really taken tag team wrestling to a new level. They just got the titles back from Ray Ripley and Shotzi Blackheart. That's a team that could say they were honor. They, that's a team that could say they had the honor of beating Mona and Raquel during that uh, streak that they were on. Mona and Raquel riled off seven or eight straight title defenses before they got beat by Ripley and Blackheart. And then of course. Mona and Raquel last week when he had that tough technical difficulty wound up uh, regaining the titles back. And of course the winners of that match would have to defend against the new contenders here in Monica Del Rey and Jerry Missile. And I'll tell you what, I mean, look at this. I mean, you got Rock you got Raquel just kicking away on Jerry Missile, man. And Jerry Missile's a pretty dominating athlete and that's not easy to do, but Raquel is taking control here. And right now, Mona just belting Del Rey. You know who's got to be loving this, uh, and I don't think she's a fan of our team. Former Vixens Club member Asia Call. Asia Call, who was fired by Tracy Torment, saying that she was a weak link. And it was sad. But luckily enough, thank goodness Asia had some backup in the form of her half-sister, Dana Brooke. And now they're back together tag team, so who knows? Maybe Asia and Dana might get the next title shot against whoever wins this matchup. And right now, Jerry Missile giving it to Raquel. Raquel De La Costa. And Mona Monroe. Yeah, that's their names. Mona Monroe and Raquel De La, Co Raquel De La Costa. Oh boy, ooh, and there's the woman's right. Right to the face, that stiff right hand. Uh-oh. Mona, she's looking in for the kill. Is this gonna be Mo no more? Oh boy. Oh, ouch. That hurt, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, but Jerry Missile's right there to break it up. Wow, I'll tell you that much right now. This is a very intense matchup between these two. Wow. Now, like I said, in the second segment coming up tonight, we got big matchup. Daddy for challenging Jimmy Coldblood Jr. for the light heavyweight title. And I have a hard time to believe this guy is a light heavyweight. I'll tell you that much because he's 7 foot 4 and 205. The guy is a weed. I'll tell you that much right now. The guy is a freaking weed, as I saw in the uh, state of the must-see wrestling address from uh, Vampiro 712, our technical assistant here on the uh, show. And oh, and Monica Del Rey just going all eight ball, going all bonkers on uh, Raquel with numerous clotheslines. And right now, as we see, Raquel, oh, and Raquel just got nailed. Wow. Maka Del Rey going after her, and now Mona gets the advantage back on Jerry Missile, a.k.a. Mrs. Price Sanders. And I'll tell you what, right now, this is interesting. Oh, stiff kick from Monica Del Rey right in the ribs of Raquel. Oh, man, what a drop kick by Mona. <laughs> Mona, she is a tall drink of water. I'll tell you what, we talk about tall drinkers of water. She's got to be a tallest drink of water. I think she might be around that six, she might measure around that six foot mark. And right now, Jerry Missile. Oh, Rams Raquel. And now Raquel throwing MDR back in the ring. I keep forgetting she wants to be called MDR, not Monica Del Rey anymore. That's why I keep hearing. Uh-oh, what is, what is Raquel sent up there? Uh-oh, she was running around the ring for some reason. And uh, 
Raquel now throwing my MDR back in the ring. And what's she gonna do? Uh-oh. Oh, Tornado DDT, holy cow. Uh-oh. Oh, a woman's right. Oh, almost, and oh, a bulldog. Oh, man, what a matchup here. Mona now putting the leg scissors on uh, Jerry Miss on Hinterwood elbows. Believe me, this was Japan. You'd be seeing her bleed all over the place like, like Megumi Kudo did years ago. I'll tell you that much right now. And man, I'll tell you what, Mona and Raquel are an incredible force. Let's, holy cow, they won again. Give it up to the girls. Give it up to the girls. I'll tell you what right now, man. Mona and Raquel sc scoring. In the words of a famous celebrity from Two and a Half Men, winning right there. And that's what they did tonight. Raquel with that one-handed bulldog. Yeah, she, tur she has turned into a dangerous weapon. And there they are, folks, Mona and Raquel, your champions. I don't know what the fans has got to say about that, but, yeah, when you see this on YouTube or if you want to talk on the forums right now, let us know what you think about Mona and Raquel's dominance here in Musty Wrestling. But nonetheless, there you are. There's your champions. I heard another match we're going to have tonight is an eight-woman barroom brawl for the women's TV title. Well, stay tuned, folks. Got more still to come here. Unbelievable. Oh, my gosh. Sasha Banks, what the hell is she doing here? Oh, man. The boss is here. Are you kidding me? Sasha Banks. Wow, this is going to be interesting. What what does she have here as a priority here in Musty Wrestling? That's what I want to know. All right, folks, let's get the ring right now. So let's see Sasha Banks here momentarily. Well, hello, Must See Wrestling Universe. You know what? I come down here to these trouble halls, and you know what? I hear about rumors of brand extension. But you know what? I don't care where, it, where it's going to happen, what's going to happen. Wherever I'm at, I'm always successful. And you know what? I came out here today, and I realized I have a fan. And that fan's name is Robert McManus. You know what, God almighty, oh I've never seen a guy so, uh, he's married, but you know what? I see him out there with his eyes bulging out, his tongue hanging out, and uh, w when I walked in, I mean, wow. What's wrong, Robert? Don't you have any loyalty to Susu? Huh? <laughs> Let me tell you something right now, fans. This is what happens. I make any man swoon over me, and I make every woman jealous. That means I, I can even take away your man if I wanted to. Who are you guys? So you better hold on to him, ladies. You better hold on to your boyfriend because I can take him away. 
Oh boy. I think Sasha may have bitten off a little more than she can chew. Because here, I think, is that I, if I hear the music correctly, I think I know who that is. Oh, good God. And it is, it's Susu Chow. Oh my gosh, there she is, folks. Susu Chow in the ring there. And there she is. Rafe. Ready to talk to Sasha Banks. I think maybe she might be giving her a piece of her mind. No, you you don't you don't mess with my husband. Sasha, you you know what? You're starting trouble here, you do I know he has, I know he says that you were one of his favorite wrestlers, but you know what? He is married to me. And you know what? I'm not gonna have any of that. You understand? You better keep your paws off of him. What's wrong, honey? You feel a little insecure? Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so funny. Oh my gosh. You know, I see that shirt that says thank, enjoy, thank you. I don't know, maybe uh, Robert ain't enjoying you anymore. Maybe Robert's getting tired of you, you know? I mean, heck, Lorenzo pelled you on to him, didn't he? No, I had, I had, I am in love with Robert. Robert is my husband. Ro I am loyal to Robert. And I'll tell you what, S Sasha, you want a fight? I'll give you a fight. And I guarantee you that right now. Oh, you're going to give me a fight, huh? You know what? Can you, do you have what it takes to keep up with the boss? Do you have what it takes to keep up? I'm not any boss, I'm the legit boss. And let me tell you something right now, sweetheart. You don't have what it takes. Maybe after I get done beating you, maybe I'll go and romance your little husband, little mighty mouse. No, you're not gonna do that because you know what? I will, I will give you the lesson of a lifetime, Sasha. You know what? I'm not going to take this lying down from you, Sasha. You understand? And let me tell you something right now. You want to fight? We'll get, we'll get on, I guarantee it. All right, you know what? I heard that you're defending your TV Town 8 woman ballroom brawl. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll get myself involved. Maybe I'll uh, put myself in there and maybe I'll outsmart you and maybe I'll win the TV title and become the great queen of all media, lady. You are delusional, dear. Let me tell you that much right now. Sasha Banks, you are delusional. You think this is Stanford? You think this is a... You think Vince McMahon's running the show? You think... uh. You think you just because you're Snoop Dogg's relative, you think you're gonna, you think you're gonna go and do whatever the heck you want? It's not because I am related to a famous celebrity. It's not because I am, I I have worked my spot here for a while. I am now going to conquer different lands, and right now. Thanks to you now, you are in my sights, sweetheart. Sign up. Go in that matchup. I'll be looking forward to beating your tail. And maybe, who knows, maybe the six others will be looking forward to beat your tail because I heard you have a, I heard you have a way of rubbing people the wrong way backstage. And you know what? I hope you, I hope you bring your tail in there. Wow. Susan Chow urging Sasha Banks to get in the ring there, folks. Wow. Unbelievable. Oh, man. This is going to be interesting, folks. Holy, holy cow. I think we got, I think we got one. We got, Wow. Coming up next, Great Lakes title on the line. Jeff Cobb to take on Matt Bennett. 
Jeff Cobb, who has recently returned back to must-see wrestling. He tried to uh, defeat Adam Strange for the TV title, but Adam Strange, he, he, he gave him a heck of a run, but Adam Strange came up. And Adam Strange has got a special stipulation in his title defense against the Cobra tonight. So uh, we'll get we'll I uh, will let you know about that when that matchup comes up tonight, as he'll be defending against the Cobra. I'll tell you what the Hillston Empire is firing on all gears. I'm gonna tell you that much right now. There's no doubt about it. You got Crossbones, who's the world champion of musty wrestling. You got Christopher, who's the world champion of the NWA. You got Cobra, who can be possibly the TV champion tonight. And then uh, I think later on in the broadcast, you got the Furies, who are the uh, Tri American Tag Team Champions. And I'll tell you what, right now, I mean, this is going to be some interesting stuff going on here. I'll tell you that much. My, my, my. That's all I got to say. Let's get to the ring right now for this one, shall we? There we go, folks. So we're getting ready for this one, folks. And... And right now, there is Jeff Cobb coming to the ring. Jeff Cobb, he is the juggernaut, they call him. And Matt Benny may have his hands full here tonight against Jeff Cobb. Jeff Cobb may wind up walking out of here tonight, the Great Lakes champion. You know, Alabama is not in the Great Lakes area, but the Great Lakes is what MSW was at first when they opened up. They were known as Great Lakes Wrestling and decided to keep the title as a nostalgic piece. And you know what? I don't mind it at all. I'll tell you that much right now. Yeah, I'll tell you, uh, I will definitely tell you for sure. I don't mind it at all. Let's call it what it is. As we got this going on here right now, as we'll find out here momentarily, as uh, we check and see what's going on here. And there is Jeff Cobb right there, the Hawaiian juggernaut. He is from Hawaii. And just to let you know, if you guys did not know this, he wrestled in the Summer Olympics in, I think, 2003 for. Uh, he wrestled for Guam, which is really interesting. I bet he was a hell of a force to deal with in the Olympics. And here is Matt Bennett. And Matt Bennett, I'll tell you what, this is gonna be a this is gonna be one of Matt Bennett's toughest challenges here, I'll tell you that much. And there's Bennett happy with that Great Lakes title. I mean, yeah, and he's doing that title proud. I'm gonna tell you that much right now. Matt Bennett is definitely doing that title proud. Let's call it what it is, man.
There we go. Oh, and Bennett right behind with a pain German trying to end the match quickly. And I don't blame him because if this match could go longer, Cobb is going to show that he can uh, wrestle with the best as this match goes longer. No doubt about it. And right now the referee trying to break it up here and clean break by Cobb. Oh, Bennett takes advantage as uh, he gets a uh, quicker draw on at first. And, uh, oh, kind of like an Emerald Fusion right there on uh, Cobb. Wow. Oh, man. And Bennett fights back there. And now Bennett. Oh, man. Irish, Irish Chris Backbreaker. And right now. Oh, and Cobb with a dragon screw. Great counters in this matchup already. And we're not even in the middle of the match yet. And, uh, oh, man. Bennett just giving it a Cobb there. Oh. You know, I'm actually surprised that WWE was not able to sign this guy. And thank goodness. He, they had to wind up dealing with his partner instead, Matt Riddle. And I think, uh, uh, you know what, it's like Matt Riddle's a great, isn't a uh, bad talent, but you know what, I think they, I think uh, they missed out on, they missed out on a gem here with Jeff Cobb. No doubt about it. One. No. I think one or two count right there, I wasn't too sure. I wonder if we're going to have the elephant in the room tonight uh, talking on the YouTube forums like we did last week. A certain former Shockwave wrestling champion. I guess he's still bitter after getting ripped off uh, years ago. You th you'd think the guy would just move on after winning the, winning the title for the first time. I'm not going to mention him, but... Uh, you know, I'll just say what it is, but he is a... He is a rel he is related to uh, one of our stars here in Must See Wrestling. I'm not even gonna say his name because if I would, I you know I'd be given prestige right now and uh, I can't do that. Oh man, he missed the discus Larry and uh Boy, did he fall flat on his face. Oh, my gosh. And that could be... Oh, no. And he gets it this time. Wow. That just is hilarious. Incredible. Going for the pin. And, wow, Matt Bennett scoring a win over Jeff Cobb. Are you... Wow, are you kidding me? Matt Bennett... Incredible win for that kid. Wow. And there he is, folks, still holding that Great Lakes title. Matt Bennett, I'll tell you that much right now. Very successful. Very successful title defense for Matt Bennett. He made it look easy. I'll tell you that much right now. Cobb was not on, I hate to say Cobb was not on top of his game tonight. Simple. But there's your winner right there, Matt Bennett. Big win for him. Holy cow. Oh, wait a second. Boy, if that's not... If this is a real kick in the tail, I guess that promo did not end really too well because now we got Sasha Banks and... Uh, Susu Cho going at it in the back from what we hear. Can we get a character, folks? Come on. We need to get a camera back there. Good God. Oh, boy.
And there's Sasha right there. Uh, Melvin off to uh, Susu. And oh man. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, and Sasha with a form. Oh, look at that. Susu escaping. Oh, what a chop. Oh, a slap. Oh, man, Cutter. Oh, oh man. I'll tell you what right now. Oh, man. Now, he's taking, now she's taking her arm back, and what's she going to do? Oh, gosh. And Susa, oh, throwing Sasha against the barricade there, and oh, man. Oh. Emerald Fusion Slam, basically. It starts off as Emerald Fusion, but wound up going into a side slam, and now Sasha now pushing her back, and oh, and she just ran right to her arm drag. Oh, Flatliner. Oh, gosh. Oh, and there's a punch right there. I was wondering when Sasha was going to get a shot in on uh, Susu because it was all uh, Susu. Oh, man. And now Sasha, uh-oh, she's going to try to put Susu in the trash. Ooh, not quite, but she hits her right in the back with it. Oh, man, and right there, Susu stops it all, man. And, oh, only just get dropped on her back. Oh, slap. Oh, gosh. Oh, and there's a clothesline. Wow. Oh, man, ouch. And now Susu's got the chair, and this, this, is, this has gone severe now. We got, hard, we got all kinds of hardware being used. That's now, oh. Susu stomping away. Oh my gosh. And ooh. Roll, roll your boat with Sasha's arm. And how is she, how did she hyperextend it? Or who knows? We'll find out as time goes by. Oh. Oh, right on the table. Ooh. Sasha might have been sent to concussion bill. Holy cow. Oh, gosh. And Sasha now getting ran in the corner. Ooh. Man, uh oh I'm pretty here. Oh, good God. Oh, I'm sorry, kill switch, whatever person calls that now. And right now getting your arms hyperextended and stretched out is going to be, wow. Stomp on the face and another stomp on the face. Oh, ouch. Here we go again. Roll, roll your boat gently down the stream. Or just uh, do it at Sasha's expense. Ow. Oh, that doesn't feel too good. And right now. Once again, oh, ouch, that's not going to feel too good, and, ooh, look at that form, ouch. Uh-oh. Oh, man. And Susu, I guess Susu has shot Sasha Banks for right now. Oh, my gosh. Well, folks, uh, coming up next, we got, I think we got the Try american Tag Team titles coming up next. Oh, we got Ric Flair coming out to the ring. I wonder what this is all about. Who knows? I wonder what the Nature Boys got to say. Let's go out to the ring right now as we hear from Ric Flair. And there he is, folks, in that, uh, that suit. Oh, my gosh. Woo! 
the nature boy is here, yeah. I'll tell you what right now. Corey Crichton, I gotta give you credit, but Deal, I will I told my sister to take a walk for 30 days. Because that was the thing that she wanted. And there you go. But I'm not gonna stop, man. I'm gonna throw more stuff at you, my friend. I got another person coming in soon, man. I'll tell you what, get ready to be morbid, folks. MSW, the M and MSW is going to be standing for morbid, my friend. I'll tell you that much right now. You know what, Crichton, you may be the top of the game. That's the reason why yeah, I guess you're learning off my critique. To be the man, you got to beat the man. And I told Lorenzo to lay off of you because you know what? Right now he's got responsibility as a tag team champion and not to go on his little game like some little wild puppy to go after you and leave Wuchow to fight alone as a tag team champion. So I'll give you that much respect, Franklin, but I will find somebody. I will groom somebody. I will train somebody to beat you, my friend. You know what? I don't like you or your little Russian, Rusky, Asian bunny, Abramoff. I'll tell you that much right now. And when it comes down to it, I'm going to be styling and profiling because I am the nature boy and I am what makes wrestling go wrong, my friend. Woo! Don't you forget it. And I'll tell you what, who knows, don't be surprised if I put on the tights and try to win the title for a 17th time. Wow, words, strong words from the nature boy. Holy cow, I'll tell you that much right now. This is what it's all about. Must see wrestling, it represents the old, the present, and the future. Coming up next, folks, we got the Threat and Demolition Man to see if they can get the Tri American titles back from the Furies. Tornado Tag, once again, like it was in that women's tag team title match where we saw Mona and Raquel retain the titles against Jerry Missile and Monica Del Rey. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Must See Wrestling has decided to do a, uh, do a uh, schedule on a whenever they can schedule. But uh, you know what, maybe, who knows, maybe these two seven-match shows, if we can do it, it will alleviate everything. And then uh, if that would happen with the brand extension, and then maybe, I guess they were talking about, may, the rumors is that, uh, another rumor I heard, uh, if you heard Tonic talking earlier, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll inform you that maybe there might be a big show at the end of the month with uh, both brands being represented. So who knows? I wonder what the brands would be called, first of all. That would be the question. But right now, we're going to be quiet here for a second and get to the ring right now for this one. And I'm going to go and uh, I got to go use the restroom real quick. So I'll be back.
And here comes uh and here comes the threat and demolition man, the cousins of Carnage. The challengers tonight, but they have held that Tri American title on more uh, about three occasions. Everybody knows that the Tri American titles are very important here because they are the number one, they are technically the number one contenders to the MSW tag team titles. But the question is, like I said, once again, I'm gonna keep addressing this tonight. With the rumors of the brand extension, what would happen to the Tri American titles? There's, there's your question right there. What would happen? I'll tell you that much right now. That's some. That's going to be some food for thought, ladies and gentlemen. And there are the tag team champions right there, the Furies, formerly Homer Schmidt, and Pro. But somehow they got warped by something, and now they think they're this uh, gang from the Warriors. Everybody knows the Furies. They're famous for uh, trying to go after the Warriors, and, well, you know what happened to them if you ever saw the flick. Classic stuff, I'll tell you that much right now. The Warriors is just a classic 1979 movie. Vampiro712 told me he went to the Retro Invasion that had... Michael Beck, Terry Nichos, and uh, David Harris over there, and he says they're all cool. They're all they are all great to meet. Of course, if you don't know who they are, Michael Beck played Swan, Terry Nichos played Vermin, and of course, David Harris played Cochise. Of course, Swan was involved in the fight against the Furies, but. Uh, uh, and of course, uh, well, uh, I'll spoil a little bit here. Cochise and Vermin were out somewhere else uh, going at it with another gang. And there they are, folks. There's the two giants right there. Cousins, Demolition Man, and The Threat. Like I said, I think I heard coming up on the second segment, starting off the second segment, it is going to be Jimmy Coldwell Jr. defend that light heavyweight title against Daddy. That's right, that you heard that person's name, Daddy. Yeah. And I'll tell you, yeah, I can tell the reason why he is named Daddy. I see what this guy look like, and uh, he is a big son of a gun. But let's get back to this matchup as we see. Of course, we see... Uh, the Furies with their titles, and of course, referee's gonna have referee's gonna have no problem because he doesn't he doesn't have to go in authorized tags in this matchup, as it's gonna be uh, tornado tag rules. So uh, we got that going on, and already the referee gets beat down already. Holy cow! I think one of these days these referees are going to have to get a catcher's mitt or a catcher's uh, armor or whatever. I mean, these referees take a lot of abuse in these uh, must-see matches. And right now, the threat taking it to Fury number two as he's got perched up there. Uh oh, what is he going to do here? And, uh, uh oh. Oh, big time superplex. Oh, man. Ouch. Wow. That was nasty. Oh, man. Holy cow. Holy, holy, uh, man. Oh, holy moly. That's all. I'll just say it like that right now. And the Cousins look like they're on a mission to get back those titles. Tonight. I'll tell you that much right now. I've never seen the, I've never seen the uh, Cousins look so incensed.
Oh, man. And right now, this is one heck of a matchup here. I'll tell you that much. This is an unbelievable matchup here. Wow, look at that. These guys are just going at it like crazy. Unless your man just got dropped by. And better watch out too, because Fury number one's been very dangerous, especially in this match, in these matches. He's been using that devastating bear hug to finish off the opponent. And oh, there's a wind-up punch. Strike three, he may be out. And not in a good way. I'll tell you that much right now. Not in a good way. It's called what it is, man. Uh, breaks up the pin. Uh, good job by Fury number two. I got, I got to admit, yeah, I'll tell you what, the, these two are something else. Uh oh, man, uh, oh, military press gut buster. Wow, that was nasty. That'll take the wind right out of you. And right now, Fury number two throwing. Uh, Oh man, he just got nailed. Wow, he just got way late. And oh man, oh gosh, are you kidding me? Oh, and uh, Fury number one fights his way out of it. Oh, Grand Slam. Oh, -ho. yeah, he calls this move the Grand Slam too, just like Motor City Mike. Oh man. Oh man, the Furies retain. The Furies have some kind of magic over the Cousins of Carnage. I don't know what the heck it is. I really don't know, ladies and gentlemen. But I'll tell you what, whatever magic it is, it's something else, man. I'll tell you that much right now. Wow. Man. There it is right there. There's the pin. And the threat gets nailed again. Wow. And there are, you know, Hillston's going to be happy with that. Oh, my gosh. Hillston's definitely going to be happy with that. I'll tell you that much. The Fury still dominant. Holy cow. And there they are, folks. Sure. Still your champions. Could they be in line for a future tag team title shot? Who knows, man? Only time to tell. I don't know what everything going on. Who knows what could happen and come up in the near future. Coming up next, Adam Strange versus the Cobra.
for the uh, Must See Wrestling TV title. And there they are, folks. And this should be an interesting one. This is going to be the main event for the first segment. As we got three segments. This one had uh, five matches. Each one was going to have five matches. Just to let you know. So, with that said, you know. With that said. Let's put it that way. Here we go, folks, and here we go. There's the ring announcer saying it is one fall for, a for the TV title, folks. This should be interesting. Can Adam Strange uh, go against? Can Adam Strange succeed against his most slippery opponent tonight? And there he is, folks, the Cobra. And there's the mysterious, there's Faith Blackthorn, a.k.a. Viper. As we see uh, Viper coming down the ring with the Cobra, part of the Hilston Empire. Right now, Hilston's got, maybe might have this federation by the balls, excuse my bluntness. As these guys have like a majority, a pretty good majority of some of the titles here and uh, could the Cobra add on to that with the TV title tonight? Who knows? We'll find out. And I'll be right back folks. I'm going to go down to the refreshment stand and uh, get, get some popcorn. I will be back. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention what the deal was about this matchup. The reason why Cobra got this TV title shot tonight was Adam Strange demanded a world title match against his father. And here's the thing about it. Must see Russell has answered, and uh, but Hilson threw a wrench in the plans. He says that you must give the Cobra a TV title shot. And then he said, well, he was nice. He said, win or lose, you will get your match next week. So, uh... Adam Strange is going to make his destiny next week against for the MSW title. But the question is, who will be facing tonight, Grit or Crossbones? That's going to be the question. We'll find out. And there's Adam Strange with his lovely girlfriend and Kenny's daughter, Carla Serino, as they're making their way to the ring.
Just back in, and it looks like Hobro's going in for a kill. Oh my gosh, and uh, oh, heart punch. Oh, good god, that may be it. No, Adam Strange fights his way out of it. Cobra is wondering what the hell he's got to do to put away this kid. And there's the elbow right there. Oh, and Adam Strange fighting back. Uh-oh. What? Oh, neck breaker. Beautifully done. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, vertebreaker. breaker. Oh, man. Oh, he's setting up. What is he going to do here? Uh-oh. Oh, he got him. Oh, my gosh. Oh, what a matchup. There's plenty of matches left, Splash Mikey. There are plenty of matches left, my friend. They don't call this the Big Friday event for nothing, my friend. Oh, are you kidding me? Adam Strange a little bit angry with that. And Adam Strange retains the TV title. Oh my gosh. What a victory by Adam Strange. Oh, cow.
Wow. M. Strange has withstood the challenge of the Cobra, and next week, where the world champion is, you better beware. Alright fans, we're gonna stay tuned. We're gonna take a break here and uh, come back with the second segment and start off that second segment Daddy versus uh, Jimmy Coldblood Jr. for the for the light heavyweight title Stay tuned for that one <laughs> 